So the idea of creating Rome Sweet Rome was fusing the, the gift that I've had to be an artist and be creative and, and produce canvases and paintings and drawings and things like that and, uh, and really fuse it with something that I love to do and something that's a passion of mine beyond that, which is traveling on the road and traveling in these little vans, these little Class B camper vans. Uh, there's a minimalism to it and uh, at the same time there's a great freedom in that and bringing art and creativity to that kind of minimalism and utilitarianism, to me, is a really fascinating thing. I feel really fortunate to be able to be exploring that. The similarities between having designed the hull of a cruise ship, so a thousand foot long vehicle, and taking that to a 20 foot vehicle, uh, it's an amazing opportunity and it's an amazing creative challenge to be able to play with both of those scales. It's a piece of American history. It's a vintage camper van. They all have their own history. They all have their own story to tell. So I'm just trying to pick up where that story leaves off and add a creative twist to it. Hey everybody, this is Lebo. I am here in sunny Sarasota at the Coach House Factory with my friend Tom Molay. How are you, sir? How you doing today? Good Thanks to for see bringing you. it home. Absolutely. Tom Molay is the customer service manager here at Coach House and he's going to tell you a little bit more about Coach House. Coach House Motorhomes is a 36-year-old family-owned company that's been in Sarasota County for 36 years. And so Lebo is bringing this conversion van back to us today for a little bit of work and a little bit of overhaul after he's done his renovation to it. And we're happy to have it back with us. Okay, so to give you a little background on why I'm here with Little Bloop, this uh, Class B camper van bringing her back to Coach House, came from a real love of travel and travel on the road and travel on four wheels and in America. Truly, truly honored to have an artist of his stature pick one of our vehicles. And I think we need to take a look at this. Absolutely, let's check it out. <laughs> Damn, you're fucking good, brother. You're good. All right, so, uh, well, actually, let's start in the front middle here. This is the longest running chassis of any automobile and automotive history. She's a four x four, which is pretty rare to have a four x four van, a good running propane tank. She's got an onboard generator that feeds off the gas tank. And I think it's amazing. I think the interest that people have now. Shore power. The rediscovery of road travel and road life in America. Wow. The vinyl floor kitchen area, which is a really wonderful thing. Bringing technology and minimalism just makes it that much cooler. And this becomes a dinette. Once you scale things down, what you exchange that for is total freedom and then converts to a bed. Very, very comfortable. I had it replaced with memory foam and new marine fabric. If you can wrap your head around the idea of not having a lot of possessions, brand new Dometic fridge, which to me is a wonderful exercise and we can always use more of it. This is a really cool way to experience it because you can just pick where you want to be all the time. 